back and some hot videos, man. It's going down. Like, yo, I just got finished grilling. Yo, the food is so good. Y'all seen my son get his taste in? I got my taste in too. Yo, the boys hot to death. The, yo, I never tasted food like this before. I, I ain't lying. And the lemonade and the tea that you, yo, the mom dukes made, yeah, yeah. yo, that just topped it off. Appreciate that. I'm telling you, man. Appreciate that. I do it. So, how do your parents feel about your career? Well, you know, my parents have been in it since I was young, man. When I was on there watching, you know, mm -hmm. chefs sweating on TV talking about I want to do it. They always been there for me, always supported me, always, wow. man. Me and my mom, we, we in business together right now. Right. So we can cater right now, you know. I do mm -hmm. a little, little some off premise, right, you know. But, um, yeah, matter of fact, check me out, y'all. Mm -hmm. www.abigailandyosef.com. Or you can email me at Y O S E F D O I D at AOL.com. Right. That's how you get it. I mean, you really want to get what you said. The food is great. Now, how long do it take time to prepare like certain meals? Like the meal, okay, the meal I just had. Like, right. like what's the time on that? Like, how much man, time do you put into that? It don't take much time at all, mm -hmm. man. I mean, if I'm doing something that's for, if I'm serving two of his lovebirds or something like that, mm -hmm. and I'm doing a Chateau Briand or something like right. that, it's going to take a minute, take an hour to cook that at least. Mm -hmm. But, me, I can get it. I can get it to you. In Twenty yeah. minutes, man. Yeah, Twenty <laughs> minutes. You saw what I got. Hey, you saw, yeah, I know. Hey, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite food? My favorite food. I love cooking vegetables. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. I'm into that. I'm into that farm vibe. You know the natural vibe. You know my people yeah. just farmers in the south. Yeah, yeah. They still do it to this day. Yeah. So, you know I'm into that. I'm really into that. And where do you get your food from, like, with your prepared? Like, where does it, like, so where food comes from? I go to local farms. I pick their own farms. I go to oh. local farmer's markets. I keep it fresh. I just yeah. keep it fresh to death, man. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. So you don't be a save a lot? No. <laughs> I mean, I get my Crisco when I make my fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it twisted. Yeah, I'll be at the farm, man. I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, with well, my right. chuckers on, man. Yeah, yeah believe it. Believe it. Yeah. Now, that, that, that name some of, the, um, some of the people you um, match up for. Um, man, I work for Jeffrey Boobin. I work for um, Iron Chef. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, man. Iron Chef, uh, the Spanish Iron Chef. I worked okay. for him. I met Morimoto. Mm. No, I worked at Tavern on the Green Manhattan. Mm. I worked Ritz Carlton. I worked a lot of good, good places, wow. man. Yeah, I met a lot, a lot of. Nice. Did a cookbook, you know. What? Yeah, all of that. Yeah, oh. Garces, Iron Chef Garces. Okay. That was, yeah, yeah. So I met a few. Did you, have you ever wanted like to try to get on one of the um, reality shows or it's not your twist? Everybody always telling me to do it, man. But I, don't, you know, I'm, I do it just because I love yeah, it. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. what I, I've been doing it for all my life, right. man. Over half my life, and that's just what I do. Okay, now let me ask you this: If you had one wish, right? You can't yeah. ask for more food wishes. <laughs> just one wish, right. continuing um, you being a chef right. that you always wanted to come true. What would be that wish? My wish would be. To feed as many people as I could, mm -hmm. and not charge them out the you know the wazoo. Mm -hmm. Give them something that's fresh and good, mm -hmm. but it's something that's not contingent on how much money they have. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So right. I just like, I just like to see people's faces happy and you know mm -hmm. enjoying something. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Now, how do you feel when they compliment the chef? It's embarrassing. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's embarrassing, man. It's, I'm telling you, I'm black, but I'm blushing. You know? But um, oh man, it's just I don't know, man. It feels good to know right. that somebody actually yeah, took something you, inside their body, right? They precious temple that yeah. I prepared, and yeah. it, it was good to them. So well, right now I'm complimenting you. Thank you. Well, 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 you want that bill you gave me, and young yeah. Ronnie, son? Yo, it was so good. And um, guess what? He's going to uh, let me have some more. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of this interview because I'm ready to go back out there and get, you know, dig in again. Because, yeah. you know, some of the you know, best food I've ever had in my life, man. Well, I appreciate you know that, what I'm man. saying? You're a young guy too. doing it good, and I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Now, the last question i got to ask you is um, about um, youth violence. You know, there's a lot of youth violence in Philly. What do you think we have to do to curb youth violence from your perspective? I believe it starts with knowledge. Mm -hmm. it, has to, it has to do with, you know, occupying your mind with things that aren't so cut and dry, mm -hmm. like money or, you know, glitz or glamour. It has to do with having something that's going to lead you somewhere else mm -hmm. other than what you know or what you where you come from. Okay. You know what I'm saying to you? So I think with knowledge, all it can do is open up another door to something else. Okay. Sometimes it's because you got that money mm -hmm. and you feel like the door is closed, but that's another door that you can't see. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, is, it takes us to a whole other realm, to a whole other world. 
Okay. Ever changing world at that. Okay. All right, you got any shout outs? No shout outs, man. I love my family. I like to say peace to my son. Mm -hmm. um, all my family Tennessee, Alabama, mm -hmm. Jersey, PA, mm -hmm. Philly, Philly, Philly. Philly, Philly. Everybody, man. Everybody, we got a lot from you. Oh, You're doing your thing. Doing your thing. Doing your thing. Doing your thing. Doing So, you know, I want to shout out my girl Abby. You know what I'm saying? For introducing me to this young man. I want to thank my girl Jude. You know what I'm saying? She always brings me good guests on the show. And everybody check me out right now. My son, Young Ronnie, doing it real big. And, um, you know, Seth, you, you Seth, man. And I'm proud of you, man. You all see him back on the show again. You know what I'm saying? So, look, we're going to do, we're going to end this thing right now. Yeah. I want to thank you for coming on. No doubt, man. Yeah. I look forward to cooking for you again, Yes, bro. sir. Yes, yeah, sir. No and give me that website one more time. www.abigailandyoseph.com. Yo, what's up? 5-2, this is Schooly D, and you're checking out Franchise Live, baby. It's Franchise Live, with my boy Ronnie Ron, with my boy Ronnie Ron.